up in Fargo, Georgia. This is the start of the Florida Divide. <clears throat> the section goes from Fargo to Flamingo, or, uh, or you can go Fargo to Key West. So, checking this out, looking at some options. Uh, so doing a little scouting. It's my favorite thing. Poor Fargo needs a new sign. <laughs> Looks like it fell down. Uh, so, there's the swamp behind me and the city right in front of me. I'm gonna go check it out. So this is downtown Fargo. This could be really good. Could be really interesting. I hear dogs barking, like hunting dogs. Um, Wow. We get off the main highway here and hit the back roads, see what's back here. <laughs> the back roads of Fargo. First couple of miles of leaving Fargo. Primitive paved roads. Uh, should be pretty quiet and this eventually turns into dirt. It's about 10 miles in, have not seen a car on this road, which is cool. I know it's early, but uh, checking out this church constituted in 1843 built this one was built in 1940s so it must have been an original building at some point uh, so I'd imagine this cemetery is pretty darn old <clears throat> we're about 10 miles from Fargo here you can go check it out World War one born in 1882 died in 1991. More Moody's over there. So prop this back up. So this is the Florida Georgia border, and this is where it turns to dirt. Uh, so, I guess Florida didn't want to pave it. Uh, so, we're starting the first dirt section of what could potentially be new, new territory for the Florida Divide. So, checking this out, it's beautiful. about 15 miles in from Fargo. Surrounded by hunting camps. Seems just a few hunting trucks along the road. It's been really quiet. So far the road looks really good. So this is what I'd call a proper dirt road. Don't see any lime rock base. So it's all just dirt, which can be challenging when it gets dry. You can see we've had some rain, so it's pretty darn rideable. If it dries out too much, you can get the sugar sand. But looks good right now. I just don't see any, like some of the wildlife management area roads, the roads around Gainesville, I see like a lime rock base under the sand, which helps make it rideable. This is one of these really rural primitive roads. It's just, it's just dirt. Um, it's 
so the conditions can swing more dramatically on this type of terrain. So now comes a cool old bridge. But that was about a 10 mile stretch of dirt. We've got the Swanee River over to my left and then we'll continue down this uh, western side of the Suwannee until we get to White Springs if the weather holds. Ooh, pig farm. Oh, it's sticky. <laughs> oh boy. All right, this is the next section of dirt going off the, the rural paved road. And uh, gonna be in this back road here for a little bit. Another dirt road looks like. Hey guys. Oh. Oh, there's a bull. I see a couple bulls. I better keep moving. <laughs> I don't want to antagonize the bulls. Uh, scratching his hoof. They're following me. <laughs> hey guys. Coming with? We're going on an adventure? <laughs> Come on! Come on, let's go! about 25 miles in uh, the road comes up close to the Swanee here this is actually according to the history it's an old river crossing there used to be a bridge here that has been since dismantled I guess in the 70s uh, some big truck that was trying to avoid I guess inspection going across state lines tried to get across it and damaged it and so they dismantled the whole thing but this is the old where it was. So this is the Swanee. Slowly moving. You can see how low the water is. This is the old bridge crossing here. You can see what's left of the pilings, I guess, that were pushed over. The bridge used to come right across there. Now it's just a boat ramp. Like I'm sure it gets like up to here. You can tell water gets this high. Um, it's definitely a very low stage. It almost get across. I bet Carlos would <laughs> Carlos would go across. <laughs> I'm not, not today. Entering Big Shoals <clears throat> along the Swanee, Western Swanee. It's a state forest wildlife management area. This is wild, <laughs> middle of nowhere. They've paved a trail through this Big Shoal State Forest. Uh, it's a bike trail. I know there's a dirt road to my left, but I'm gonna take this, this is pretty nice. To the last bit of Big Shoals on Mossy Ravine Trail. A little bit of single track, double track, <clears throat> kind of bumpy. It's 
like I made it to White Springs, 40 miles in. You can see the town a little bit. I'm gonna try to find a store, refuel, and start heading back. Here's the exit right here. <laughs> Guess that's it. It's over. Uh, I think I can go right here and get back into town and look for a store. Looks like the safe way to go. It's White Springs. Try to find a store and get out of here and start heading north. Blue skies right now. I know the storms are coming. So I'm going to try to try to get back before that hits. I think I should be okay. All right. I'm feeling Dr. Pepper. There's Christmas treats and these on the road because I got it. I got the move. Um, straight north now. Hopefully I get the south wind. I'm going to plane it that way. We'll see. back in Fargo <laughs> made it back way before any storms there's definitely nothing happening sun's out wind is blowing and it was definitely giving me a little tailwind which is nice <clears throat> wow original church cool well this is it. Gas station, no stop rides. 